Yeah, it's looking pretty good so far. Ah, the scratch on my car again. 9 a.m. So we're 90 minutes in and we've accumulated a fair number of the early uh, tools. That's a lot of zombie dogs. That is quite the pile of zombie dogs. That is weirdly positioned ranch. Very weirdly positioned ranch. Fire truck with an item in the front seat. I can't quite see that corner. I don't think it would have had the items here. It's slightly possible. Now nah, we can see through it. Nope. Hmm. Let's drive down the road a bit. We'll come into the ranch from the field side, see if we can get some gear. Not any zombies that naturally inhabit the ranch. Grab the baseball bat. Pick out the fence. Hedge trimmer and a shovel. Well, yeah, that'll help. Every flashlight and a long rope is pretty good. More duct tape. And I don't remember ever finding anything in this bathroom. It's a dead zone for items. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty much it. That's all I cared about. following me care about a fishing pond so we got two roads back to the north or keep going west let's keep going west oh that's right I didn't change the title I changed the uh, check commands let me go change the title real quick
All right, title's up, dude. <laughs> Here we go with the minus nine weirdness stuff again. binoculars I haven't seen binoculars yet well hey there NPC mr. Lappin Warner you've got a little bunny hutch he has a bunny hutch we'll leave him do his little bunny rabbit business charge this time. I gotta grab some fire making capability. I don't know. There's a few weird issues still with uh, the stuff. I was more concerned with the uh, fact that I couldn't put it in my inventory. <laughs> it insisted on wielding it instead of putting it in my inventory. Let's go... Well, I guess we'll go north first. South looks clearer, so we'll, we'll take the harder road for the first part. Right up into a farm. And it's yet another winery. Or vineyard. Alright, we're out of here. Don't need none of that. Neiman Spiderlings, hey buddies! Congrats on your recent uh, your recent victory. Respect. Uh, dead end trailhead. Might go past, but I suspect it's a dead end trailhead. Yep, dead end trailhead. Opens out into a field, so it might go somewhere, but. Haven't found a lab yet. I would love to dive into a lab. Uh, rural house. I don't want to go to a rural house either. <laughs> don't tell me it's just... Road to an isolated farm, road to an isolated farm, road to an isolated farm. Because I hate those maps. Really, really don't like those maps. This isn't even an isolated farm. It's road to an isolated silo. Uh, all three branches. I still don't have my binox. That didn't help much. Well, I guess it's back north east. Either that or go exploring the wilderness out this way.
Chad go boom. Yeah, don't think that was my side that time. I think that was Twitch. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything exciting. <laughs> Just me finding dead end roads and farms. Another NPC hiding in the barn. Stormy Mix Qualls, the psycho. It's more NPCs I've found in the last couple minutes than I've seen in quite a while. To assume an owlbear would take a clay golem. Oh, they're brown now. Hmm. You both gonna come at me? Owlbear stopped to kill something. Do owlbears and clay golems fight? The eternal question. The age old mystery. Yes, they do. <laughs> ah, what do we got? They're, they're even up. One bar hit points. Probably one point of damage so far. Clay Golem down. Albear barely touched. <laughs> we have answered the question. There you go. Now you all know who would win in a fight between an Albear and a Clay Golem. More rural houses. Uh, what am I still looking for? We got all the basic tools except for the wrench. Got duct tape. I haven't gathered much in the way of string or that kind of stuff. I was really hoping to avoid craft grinding. Oh boy. So the cookies and biscuits have been reset, the counters. So I don't know how many have been bought so far. I know somebody got the mega biscuit. I saw some cookies go by earlier. I fear just about everything on these settings with 125, 125. <laughs> I'm afraid of everything. Even the seemingly little things are pretty damn dangerous. So we got a ruined evac. Where's the city that usually goes with it? Go take a look for our freebie first aid kits. We get another only only six protein rare bars that time. No free first aid kits and no free first aid kits. <laughs> Lots more rations. I don't care.
Eh, troll and riot control platforms. <laughs> Another one of the age-old questions. Who would win in a fight between a troll and riot control platforms? Trolls to the north, platforms at the roadblock. That's interesting looking. What did I just see? Oh, they put a spotlight in there. And a plutonium generator? What? <laughs> Excuse me? You've got a... You've got a searchlight, a plutonium generator, and the only thing you're fire you're using here is the non-lethal beanbag firing turrets. That doesn't make any sense. Here comes the uh, here comes the spotlight to highlight me. I see a spotlight being all tricky. Two riot control turrets, huh? Cash card and a Remington. And a Kevlar vest. Ooh, well, a Kevlar vest would be okay. The uh, if I brought the troll down here and could somehow get him attached to those, he would absorb all the hits, and they'd empty out, and I could grab the stuff. But I don't think it'd be a little rough to get the tur get the troll down here in range of the turrets. Well, there's the town that it's attached to. <laughs> Didn't think there would be too much distance between the evac shelter and a town. Hmm. Mess with it? Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Not worth it. Be nice to come across a gun that fires 308762. So I could make use of that belt of ammo. That would give me a heavy enough fire to uh, take a soldier down to grab his gear. Although I think, didn't they also nerf the soldier drops? I think they have a lot less chance of having the M4s now than they used to. Oh, another dead end farm. Ugh, so tired of dead end farms. Which way to the dead end farm this time? They're teasing the hell out of me with these Humvees this session. Drivable Humvee. <laughs> no uh, faults on the engine. It's got gas, it's got battery, it's got wheels, it's got all the components in the driver's seat. Yep, perfectly drivable. And it's got a grenade launcher. Battery's dinged up, so it may not be able to keep the charge, but, um, how's the alternator? Alternator's in perfect shape. It could probably, while on, keep going. I got no use for it, though. And another trailhead. They just love to give me Humvees when I'm doing a run where I can't use the Humvee. Oh! What the hell? Is it standard to put a shock zombie in the cockpit? I'm starting to think it's standard to have a shock zombie in the cockpit. Because the last couple I've found... Well, okay, the one before this one had a shocker brute in the cockpit. <laughs> which was a little rude. But I'm starting to think there's a shock guaranteed in the cockpit.
The problem being that the door is closed and you have to get in, open the door, deal with the shock zombie immediately with it blasting you. It won't be able to wander its way out because it's in a sealed room. Hmm. I'd love to, uh... There, there's a reason why I would love to go mess with this, but... As you can see, it's in a sealed room. Well, that's the problem. you got to actually stand over here to unseal it. <laughs> or use some kind of a high explosives. To blast these walls and reinforce glass down. But you pop the door open, you're instantly sighted and shocked. Go back and get the Humvee and smash it into that and try to make a hole. <laughs> There's a particular reason why you want into the uh, cockpit of the crashed airliner. The uh, lockers here, I think it's this locker, has a crash axe. This is one of the few guaranteed locations where you can get a prying to item in the game. So you can pry open doors and windows and all the other fun stuff. Every other location has got random chances, so... You can deal with the shock zombie and all these other attached zombies. You can get yourself a crash axe. Which, if you don't know what I'm talking about, that's the crash axe. Pretty cool. Use the Humvee grenade launcher with zero skill. <laughs> I love it how you guys are always recommending I use explosive weapons when I have no skill whatsoever. Is it better than a fire axe? Uh, better, worse. Depends on what you're trying to do with it. If you're going to use it as a weapon, no. Fire axe is much better. If you're going to use it to pry things, same exact thing. Both have prying too. But it's also, I think, less weight than the, uh, the fire axe, so... You tell me what your priorities are, and I'll tell you which one's better. But just declaring one or the other better is... disingenuous. There's just... better at what? <laughs> better at weighing less? <laughs> hey, zombie dog. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. Let me look at you. You break your eyeball open again? Oh, hey, look at that. Good job, zombie dog. You got rid of that thing that was attached to your eye. <laughs> you removed it. It's not bleeding. Well, that's a good trick. Hey, buddy. Alright. Uh, zombie dog's doing good, apparently. Now, stop rubbing your face, though. I'm gonna break that thing back open again. Boo. Yes, I know. You're annoyed. Oh, there you want to investigate. I have him trapped here in the room with me. Wanted to keep an eye on him while his face was bleeding. Stop doing that! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! I got to get you a cone. You're gonna have to get a cone. already wore that thing off. You let it heal you, silly. Alright. Um... Mess with these guys? Don't mess with these guys. I've got a shotgun. I mean, if I'm willing to take the hit, I can deal with the shock zombie. But I'd still have to lead away a huge number of other zombies first. I, I don't currently have a, <laughs> a a cone to keep him from doing it. He had uh, what would happen if you weren't here at the beginning of the episode or beginning of the live stream tonight. He has on the side, right right at the bottom of his eye. He's got a little growth, and he's managed to rub that off, and it started bleeding heavily <laughs> right when we started the stream. That's what I'm talking about. Is uh, when he was bleeding. He had a long string of blood running right down his full muzzle. Freaked me out. 
I figured out what was causing it, and it stopped bleeding, but then he keeps worrying it, and he eventually worried it right off. So he looks perfectly fine now. He looks better than he did earlier, but now he keeps messing with it because it's still sore. He'll probably be fine. Do -do -do. Goodbye, zombie dog. All right, it's almost break time anyway, so we'll take a break and I'll, I'll go get him cleaned up. Did I complete the churl? Well, yeah, of course I did. <laughs> I always complete them. Hmm. So, we're in a good position here with regards to all these zombies and being able to lead them away. So I've got a vehicle that we can tool around in to uh, relocate the bulk of them. I'll need to do it twice because I need to do it on each side of the vehicle. Then I'd have to get the shotgun out and uh, go pop that door open and wreck that shock zombie. So I'll end up taking a little bit of damage. But trading it for a crash axe... I might be willing to do that. Because like I said, it's the only guaranteed spot. Everything else is random. You may or may not get a fire axe off of a firefighter zombie or in a fire station. May or may not get a crowbar. Just trying to group these guys up into a nice tight little formation here. Oh, we've got more guys coming out of the, out of the wreck. Still come out of the wreck. So far, they're all pretty standard level of zombies. Whoops. You hit my car, you bastard zombie. That one last straggler to the north. Alright, ballo zombies. Let's go off this way. I got a bit lucky because there's no dogs in that group. <laughs> so they're all going to be pretty close to each other in speed. Shrieker zombie is apparently faster. Hey there, poor animal. I got bad news for you, giant rattlesnake. Oh, rattlesnake took out the shrieker. <laughs> Good job, rattlesnake. You got a couple of them. I'm impressed. get some distance, circle back and see how clear it is and if I'm willing to go in and get shocked. Ah, still several zombies right out front. Dang it. Did that shock zombie manage to kill his buddy? Where did his buddy go? There were two zombies in that sealed room. No? I want to know where his buddy went. How the hell did his buddy get out of there? You guys will lead up north, and then we'll circle back one more time. Oh, that other group's heading north as well. I'm going to have a pretty narrow spot that I can try to thread between these guys. 
Look at that. Look at that stupid group. Just randomly moving the exact direction that's going to bug me. <laughs> Guess I might as well go join them up. Come on, you stupid zombies. side. I think I can get in right here as long as I scramble over the rubble. So we got rubble to climb over. I'm gonna pop the door, kill the shocker zombie, grab the gear, and then get out again. That's the theory. Alright, what do we got? Mossberg? Four shots ought to do it with the Mossberg. the Mossberg. Definitely going to take at least one shock. Damn it! <laughs> um, nah, the crowbar, the, the door is open. It's unlocked, so you can just open the door. The crowbar is right, or the crash axe is right there. Um, I don't have enough shots. I need to make sure I keep these shots available for the uh, shock zombie. What else do we got? A Glock and the Smith & Wesson 357. All right, let's go with the Smith & Wesson. Use that on the little guy. the shack, eh? Alright, there's a tiny, tiny chance he won't be able to see me and we won't get shocked, but it's, it's, we're gonna get shocked. <laughs> it's just gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Gun mode, get a little tiny bit of distance. No oh, crap. Alright, no aiming. Alright, took some hits. We got him down. Give me the lighter. And... Silver ring. No, I'm not going to take filthy stuff. Now I just got to get it and get out of here. Come here, Crash Axe! No thanks. Ah, more zombies! There we go. That's how you do it. Um, unfortunately, I'm running out of directions again. I guess we could go back up that way. We haven't we haven't yet dead ended down this way, so we got out of range. Get my breath back. But like I said, guaranteed crash axe. So if you know how to. Deal with the shock zombie and or lure the rest of them away. Pretty good. There's other stuff. If you go down to the lower area of the airplane, there's a lot of uh, furniture. Or furniture. <laughs> a lot of uh, bags of stuff and uh, suitcases and such. A lot of clothes and all that kind of stuff. Alright, let's ditch that and that. Yeah, let's get the rest of the 
debating, do I go back? I don't think I'm going to bother going back. I know the kind of stuff it's got. I'm not worried about it. Yeah, luggage was the word I eventually got to. Suitcases. Yeah, that was an airplane. That was the airliner crash site. It's a pretty fun site. I didn't explore the, the whole thing, but the, the airplane came in from the west, made this huge furrow in the ground with scattered debris all along its path, and then came to rest where you saw the, the front of the airliner there. And the cockpit's got the crash axe. But you can get some other random stuff, especially in the lower luggage compartment. Oh, look at that. A lab, but the wrong kind. I'm definitely not going into this lab. But we will stop to check for books and check the vending machine. And the front counter here. Popular mechanics and four different sunglasses. <laughs> Reading glasses. Eyeglasses. See, it's, not, it's no problem to find glasses when I don't need them. Ah, they broke the vending machine, you bastards. And the economics book, or effective communication. Alright, oh, nothing good. Oh yeah, it's got tree cutting. Got shanks. Level 2 tree cutting, 16 butchering, 1 cutting, and 2 prying. A good all-around utility item, and it only weighs 2 pounds with 1 volume. But I think you can holster it in quite a few things. That's versus the... What the... <laughs> I just seg-faulted. Trying to type in a name <laughs> into the into the search. I <laughs> uh, got the fire. I went to hit A and blammo! <laughs> Seg fault. Oh man, am I gonna have to go back and get my axe again? Please don't make me redo all that. <laughs> well, that one I couldn't anticipate. Yeah, you're correct. I, I do need the stylish sunglasses. Uh oh, this is a, I was driving away. Crash X! Alright. Yay! <laughs> Serendipity. Yeah, I was I was trying to show you the uh, the fire axe for comparison. A seg fault occurred causing mass resubscription kappa. <laughs> if only, if only. <laughs> blam 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 I think I got a oh yeah we got a different list this time so it regenerated the building the contents because our save was back here so if you don't know how things work the map is generated and the basic buildings are but the contents and all the randomized stuff is generated when your reality bubble intersects so because our save was back here we got a new set of items generated when we moved over to the lab, when our reality bubble intersected it. So we're not going to have the same list. So the items up here are different. Vending machine still broke. And the book is gone. Yeah, so. Alright. But yeah, we're definitely not going in there. That would be really bad news. So, now we just need the wrench and or a toolbox or firearm gunsmith repair kit type thing. And we'll have the full set of tools. We've got a good cut weapon. We've got a good bash weapon. I'd rather have the, I think the aluminum bat is better. But uh, we've got our knife. We've got a couple of guns. Um, we're still missing some utility items. But we got the towel. I still need, well, no, we got the lighter as well. I don't need that. Got a good one. 
got medical gear. Thirst. I'm gonna have to start paying attention to thirst here pretty quick, though. Hey, look, another Humvee. Or is that the armored car? Nope. <laughs> My third Humvee. Two and a half hours in, and we've had three Humvees, one of which was in uh, perfectly operable condition. How are you looking, Humvee? Fault the engine and no wheels. Eh. No ammo. Alright. <laughs> so it gives me my 308 ammo rifle. <laughs> the M110A1 plus four. Four mods on it, half a clip full, and I've already got uh, 42 rounds in that previous M4 belt that we took out. So, there we go. We got one of my wishes. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take care of this as well. Uh, come here, you. Unload the belt. Drop the casings or the linkages. And reload the rifle. There we go. We got a perfect condition M110A1. Full clip, 32 spare rounds. And what's it got? It's got the oh look at that it's got the scope it's got the suppressor and adjustable stock i don't care about the bipod i need to put a strap on it but uh, other than that awesome we're, we're 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 not quite set for the lab i need either a jackhammer or a, a pickaxe i'm not heading into uh, a lab <laughs> quick save time all right that that sounds like some words of wisdom <laughs> i wouldn't want the rng to uh, deny me that stroke of luck. Oh yeah, we got some pain going on too. Uh, let's have some aspirin because I got nothing else. Where do pickaxes spawn? Uh, they're a little tougher. Hardware stores, things like that. There's no guaranteed place for a pickaxe. The subway is for the jackhammer. Jackhammer, it's got a, or Subway's got a really good chance for the Jackhammer, both electric and gas varieties, as well as a toolbox. There's no guaranteed spot for a pickaxe, though. Hardware stores are your most likely, especially at the higher item drop rates. Alright, just keep on traveling. Now nah, we're staying in our sports car. We we're not we we're never leaving our sports car. What is that? A half pine tree forest section? Oh, it's the tree farm. Yeah, deaded into a tree farm and a body site. Might get a chainsaw in the uh, the tree farm. What do we got? <laughs> a hatchet. Hey there, hatchet. The hatchet provides hammering and fine hammering. Already got the hammer though, so we don't need the hatchet. But uh, interesting that it popped up at random. Full tint. Uh, do Western boots count as bling? And a 10 gallon hat? Granola and vodka. Take the batteries. Did it not pick up the... Oh, hey! Oh my god! So much nicer. Oh, so much nicer. <laughs> they stop picking up items when you just want to unload the battery from it. Everybody say, yay! So to demonstrate, previously, if I wanted that battery, when I went to unload it, the whole damn flashlight would get picked up and put in my inventory, with a secondary consequence of if I was full in my inventory, I would drop random stuff. Random stuff! Totally random stuff would hit the ground, and you'd walk away with your precious, precious flashlight and battery that you didn't realize you picked up, leaving behind your katana, <laughs> or your rifle, or your first aid kit. Because it hit the ground, because it shoved it out of your inventory. 
So, glad they changed that behavior back again. That was really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What just happened there? Reload flashlight with the battery. All right, didn't drop it that time. That was kind of weird. All right, but yeah, I'm very happy about that. Oh, here's another opportunity. Unload flashlight. And I don't have a random flashlight in my inventory. So, yep, it left the flashlight. Much, much better. Glad somebody finally took care of that. Take the glass bottle of vodka. We may be in the Molotov business in this one. I guess I'm going to keep that gun with me. That as well. Can we go see if there's a chainsaw? I wouldn't use a chainsaw, but we'll, we'll go see if it has one. Nope, no chainsaw for me. Goodbye, little mini lab. So we still have a road section we haven't we haven't done yet, so we're gonna head up that way. Instead of exploring the wilderness south of me here. Oh now I get DFNS code? <laughs> it's been a nice cool four hours of uh No hat. I got kinda used to it. Today is a uh, reverse day, or bizarro day. We're uh, we're pretending the the hat off is the normal solution. There's one of the other Humvees. I will uh, wait just a short bit, see if anybody's gonna want to counter your your hat proposal. Oh wait, no, you D have an S code me. Well, see, that doesn't work because I'm already D have an S code. <laughs> you did the wrong one. If you wanted the hat on, you should have picked the other one. Uh, solar car. I don't care about the solar car right now either. Campsite, uh, free brazier, but I was trying to avoid the brazier thing. They're not wrong. <laughs> Evanesco Chapeau is disappear the hat, I mean take it off. D Evanesco is the opposite, that means put it back on. They're correct. <laughs> Mego Tower. All right, no magic cabins. Oh wait, no, you're. I, I'm. I am wrong. <laughs> they're. They're actually set up correctly. I just misspoke. You, you did the correct one to make me put the hat back on. <laughs> My bad. The consequence of trying to game and chat simultaneously. <laughs> Any kind of uh, logical thought process or simple math is a bad idea when you're live streaming. It's a well-known fact. <laughs> Do, do, do. So, where am I going to fit my kitchen unit into my sports car? Do I put the kitchen unit in the passenger seat? <laughs> the car's awful tiny. 
I'm not sure where I'm going to put my, my workshop, my work table, or my... Uh... Yeah, I'm not sure where we're going to put them. Rip out the, the, the boarding, rip out the wall sections, and install them in those. Look at that perfect condition storage battery. Perfect engine. We will hydrate fully. Then we will go grab one of the jerry cans. And we will siphon the rest of that into the jerry can. <laughs> Instantly frozen. Love it. Love it. And, whoa, weren't we full tank previously? <laughs> Are we really burning that much gas? It's weird because... Or did we crash once when I filled it and then... I can't remember now. But I thought we were low like this, and then I did one small siphoning. But the next time I looked, it said full. I remember we did crash sometime near the time I would have been siphoning. I guess we got to start siphoning again. We'll siphon out of the wing mirror. Always my favorite place to siphon gas. Wrap my lips around that wing mirror and suck the gas right out. See? See? I wasn't wrong. See? <laughs> More brokenness. <laughs> I remembered the original the original car when I looked at the sports car had like, I don't know, 20 liters. And then I siphoned only like two and a half liters out of something. And the next time I looked, it said 59 point something. <laughs> So, who knows how much gas we have? It'll be a mystery. <laughs> It'll be a total mystery. Or is it... Is the container system multiplying my gas when I siphon? Is siphoning suddenly producing gas? Oh, shipwreck. And hordes of zombies out in the river. So, we got crab people coming up on a bridge. Might be some interesting vehicles on a bridge. Wait, now we do have a magic cabin to look at. Oh, and a pack of feral runners. All right, they'll be able to keep up with me. We'll lead them off back this way. At least these guys are consistent speed. See if we can go get a fireball wand with some, some, oh, they gone? Liquid mercury? I don't want liquid mercury. Big golem's playing around with the firefighter. He's on the far side of the property. Maybe we can get in here and get what I want and get out again. Oh, there's a wand! Is it a fireball wand, though? With charges. I want a fireball wand with charges, please. Magic missile. <laughs> Kind of figured. It's either going to be fireball or magic missile. Protection from magical beasts. Hey, we got magic crystals. Reload the magic wand. Ah, I can't reload the wand. <laughs> Korg, your nested container system is messing with your magicalism system. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Quantum Tunnel. All right. 
Hold on. <laughs> Before I get myself in trouble again. Alright, do that one. Don't do that one separately. <laughs> Alright, we're good. <laughs> Does the magic wand take stomach mags like every other gun in the game? I don't think so. Pretty sure it's just broke. I think nested containers hasn't been... I don't think wands have been adjusted for the nested container system. <clears throat> wands. And who knows what else. So we're probably not going to be able to use the... Uh... There's a lot of zombies right around here for no reason. Campsite. Oh, it goes right into a big city. That's not good. That's a really big city. Hurricane Isle. I like the name. I do not like the the bridge going directly into the huge city. Oh, look at that right there. Hunting supply, gun store, antique store. All on top of each other. That would be nice. What would be even cooler is if that's not a river, if that's the, like, the outside edge of a lake and it's actually a, a huge lake and this is actually an island. That'd be even cooler. No subways close to me though. Alright, hordes. Turn off the hordes for a second. Right across the river to do. We've got a magic cabin nearby we could set up in for a bit, or a campsite, or whatever farm this is. Make a night run to try to hit these three buildings. Even got a house for me to use as a hidey hole escape point. I'm tempted. I definitely don't want to drive the car over. Let's go see what else the area in the area looks like. <clears throat> Still claiming full tank, and it is depleting. Oh, we got an APC. More ammo for Vorm. Got the gun. Grenade launcher. I should have checked it before I even came in. Drivable, though. Be a fun way to uh, clear the bridge. <laughs> oh, is that what's going wrong? I haven't done anything with the wands in forever. I thought the crystallized mana was the same thing. So, possibly it's working just fine and it is a uh, player error. Got a golem coming up behind me. Let's park on this side so I can run away quickly if I need to. I can't believe I still don't have binoculars. Usually I've got like five different sets found by this point. Wait a minute, why am I seeing that far? <laughs> 